ElvisDuran.com. Hey, what's up? It's Garrett hanging out with Miss Selena Gomez. How are you? Good, how are you? Well, let me tell you, uh, you are my guilty pleasure of the last year. I have been singing naturally to myself out, out loud in the car. It, is it weird, yeah, like hearing, like you know, you. like a guy, nice. like a 26-year-old guy singing naturally alone in, you know, in his car? You know, the funny thing is, is I remember I got a phone call from my label, and they said that naturally was number one on Billboard's club charts, and I was like. Oh my gosh, I was like, that means I can't even get in a club, but that's awesome. Like, <laughs> Everybody's I'm beating the beat to my music. Enough. Exactly, so that makes me happy. So it doesn't, it doesn't seem weird. I, I enjoy it. Uh, so uh, you got a movie coming out with uh, Corey Monteith, uh, Monte Carlo. Uh, t t tell me about that. Uh, Monte Carlo is a romantic comedy, and it has Corey Monteith, Leighton Meester, and Katie Cassidy, and it's about three girls that go over to Paris and want to have this romantic adventure, and it ends up being an absolute disaster. And Corey plays Katie's love interest, and he plays a southern guy, which is awesome because he had to have a Texan accent. It was amazing. Now, being as a true Texan, how was his accent? It was awesome. It was perfect. They had a coach work with him, yeah. and he'd always ask me in between to be like, is that good? I'm like, yes, absolutely. He did great. Now, uh, is it awkward too because uh, a few photos, you know, if you check out TMZ, you go to IHOP and it's like, oh, I went to IHOP and all of a sudden I'm on TMZ and it's popular. Like, do you see pictures like that and be like, come on, really? Can you get a good picture I try of me? not to read it, to be honest. I try not to read all of the stuff that goes on, but no, it is funny how it, if anything that you do obviously has to have a label on it. Yeah, so of course. You have to laugh at it at this point. Now, uh, of course, we got a lot of artists here, everyone from, you know, Enrique to Bruno. I mean, all the, the men of music that you are falling in love with are in one building tonight. I know. I mean, do you think, I mean, you can get the courage to be like, hey, by the way, I'm writing some songs and I think you might be perfect oh, for one. Oh, goodness, no, I would never put them on the spot like that. I think, I think they wouldn't mind, though. No, but I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to do that. Come on, if you had... I just, be, I just like to just watch them. If yeah. that sounds creepy, I'm sorry, but I just like to watch well, them. Well, you're a fan. So besides that, in music, what was your highlight like, to you as a fan? What was the big highlight of music? For, who'd you like listening to this year? This year, I think Taylor Swift had an amazing year. Your girl, my homie. Um, I think I think Nicki Minaj had a great year as well. Yeah, she was on every song that was on the radio. Yeah, it was like of course. Featuring or her featuring. <laughs> Why someone isn't else. she with me? <laughs> no, but it was awesome. So I think she had. I actually like to say it's kind of very girl empowered. Bruno Mars, of course, came and got yeah. six nominations for Grammys. But I feel like it was very girl empowered. Now uh, I got to see you the other night perform on stage, and uh, right before you got on stage, you. you you were like a, a bull ready to be unleashed and like, let me get out there. No. What, is that nervous energy every time you hit the stage? Yes, every time you see me before I go on stage, I'm like jumping up and down and just looking ridiculous because I have to like get it out of me. If I just stand there, I'm going to end up exploding, so I feel like I have to constantly... Do you put so much energy out that you have to get a piggyback ride after you get off stage from someone? Yes. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I had to, my lead guitarist, I was like, I'm done, and my lead guitarist grabbed me. And, uh, that must be nice though, he'd be like, I need a piggyback. Well, he's like my big No, of course, but it, but it was it was cute to see. Oh, so. thanks. But uh, congratulations on everything this year. Again, uh, when you're thinking like, I wonder who's singing my song at 4 a.m. as he drives into work. It's me. Uh, I'm, I'll be singing this song. So, well, I'm very Selena, honored. Thank, thank you, you so much for hanging out. Uh, no basketball this time, but uh, next time I, I can't get beat twice by you in one year. So we're, we're gonna wait a year, okay, and then uh, we'll come back. Work on your game. Yeah. I'll come back. I'm gonna coach. Le LeBron's gonna coach. And then we'll be good to go. Fine. All right. Thank, Thank you, Selena. It's good to see you. You too. ElvisDuran.com.